Hi guys, I've had several questions about the motor that's in this new bright SLR McLaren Mercedes-Benz. So we'll have a look inside. Right then, how do we get to the motor is the first question. I'll try this screwdriver out. One of Poundland specials. Yeah, they're going to be too short. Yep, I have to get a different screwdriver. really don't like the idea of undoing these clips. Okay, that's loose there. What else have we got? I think we got clips in there as well. Might have to take the wheels off. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to stop there because I just cannot get this plastic casing apart. I don't want to force it because it'll probably split and break. But there's obviously some sort of clip mechanism round the end of it under here and I just can't get that apart so I can't get the wheels off I need a socket spanner that will go inside there and over the nut and although I've got quite a few different sets I haven't got one that will actually slide in there it needs to be a thin walled socket and I've got one that will go in there without damaging the plastic. So that's as far as I'm going to go. So I don't know what motor's in there. I can't get it apart to check. So it'll just have to remain a mystery for now. Fail. Just pulled this old bit of duct tape off. And we can see there's a bit of damage here to the plastic casing. Obviously we need to keep that covered otherwise it'll get full of dirt when it's running. So I'll put some more duct tape back over it. Just before I put the cover back on there are a couple of things we can say about the car. It's going to be a brushed motor, definitely not brushless because it's only got two wires going to it. If it was brushless it'd have three unless it's got some sort of onboard controller but that's very unlikely. So I would say that's a brushed motor in there. And then at the other end, the steering motor, you'll notice there's one, two, three, four, five, six wires going into the little box that's got the motor in it. Two of those will be the power wires. Looking at this here, it'll be the brown and black, I would think. And then the red, black, green and yellow will be some sort of position um, monitor. I can't think what words to use there, register. That actually tells how far the steering is turned. Because we've actually got proportional steering, which is unusual for a cheap toy radio controlled car. And that's what those extra wires will be. There'll be some sort of either a variable resistor in there or even just simply um, tabbed positions on the turn to actually let the receiver know how far the wheels are turned. So I just thought I'd mention that while we got the cover off. So it's not hobby grade but it's sort of a halfway house where they've actually got some sort of um, 
measure of how far the steering is turned. Being as we can't get the motor out to look at it, I've no idea if it's got anything written on it, but just measuring it, assuming that it can't go any further than there in that direction, it can't go any further than there in that direction, and allowing a bit of thickness of plastic there, that's going to be a maximum of 50 millimetres. Probably 45 millimetres, if that. And measuring the other way across it, which you can't really see, I would guess 30 millimetres. So about 40, 45 long and about 30 millimetres wide. Brushed DC motor.